Hi kids, welcome to Unique Minds. In this video, we will solve three Kogat level 11 questions. Have a look at this question and please answer this by yourself by taking a minute. Okay, now if you have answered as option D, option D is the right choice and we will understand uh, the logic of why is option D the right choice. If you, if you in, in problems like this, you typically have to understand what is the relationship uh, in the above diagram first. So when in the above question you see on the leftmost uh, pattern, there is a five-sided figure which is a pentagon, a five-sided polygon which became, which got transformed into a six-sided a six -sided polygon. So five sides, five-sided figure became a six-sided figure. So five got added by one and became six. So three should be added by one. So you have a three-sided triangle which is number three. So three will become four. So got it, when 5 became 6, 3 will become 4. And in the A, B, C, D options that we have, there is only option D which is having 4 sided figure. Option A has 6 sides, option B has 3 sides, option C has 5 sides. And hence option D is the right choice. Now you have the next question. Please take again a minute and answer this question by yourself first. Okay, if you have answered as option A, then option A is the right choice. Now if you again, now this is a, the above question is a sequence of three figures given provided to you and you have to understand what you have to know, what will be the fourth uh, figure from the choices. Now when you look at the options, uh, when you look at what ha what is the relationship among the three pictures above, you have a clockwise rotation all the pictures in the first figure you have a fluorescent circle you have a blue triangle and you have a uh, sand square and then you have a donut shaped figure all these actually rotate in clockwise one position in the next diagram so the fluorescent circle comes to the second position and then in the third program in the third diagram in the third figure it again moves one step down so the circle comes down so basis this the fourth what will be the fourth figure the fourth figure will be a clockwise rotation of the last third picture which is the fluorescent circle will come one position to the left the blue triangle will go one position above right and this and the square and and the donut also will move correspondingly right and 
option A is hence the correct answer. Now we have the next question. Please take again a minute and answer this first by yourself. Now if you have answered option D, it is the right answer. When you look at the double arrow figure provided to you in the first in the question at the top figure, the double arrow figure has been shifted by 90 degrees, has been moved by 90 degrees in the first relationship, in, in the first diagram. And then both are both both together will be that top arrow and like a vertical arrow and a horizontal arrow. So a vertical arrow figure became a horizontal and vertical figure because of the vertical arrow being shifted by 90 degrees in the first relationship. So, so following that same relationship, we have a cross. And when you shift that cross by 90 degrees, you it actually looks still like a cross. And therefore, the last option, option D, is the right option in this case okay got it you have when you have a cross the cross when shifted by 90 degrees will still look like a cross so there will be like a cross over a cross and therefore there is no change in the way it is it is being seen uh, and hence option d is the right answer if you have any questions please contact us at unique minds